हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल टेक टॉक एंड टेक अनबॉक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू फिक्स ए इशू रिलेटेड टू द पोर्ट प्रोफाइल ऑन द यूनिफाइ स्विच विच इज रनिंग ऑन कंट्रोल ऑफ वर्जन सेवन डॉट फोर डॉट वन सिक्स टू नाउ लेट्स टेक some background since release of the controller version 7.4.156 the ubiquity has changed the port profile and the port manager the way they did on the earlier older controller version as they have mentioned already on the community release notes so to check the port manager and the port profile you have to click, simply click on the switch go to the ports click on the port manager select the switch port and under the network the default network is set you can choose the other specific vlan as untagged traffic and you can allow the traffic restriction or block the traffic restriction and you can choose the specific vlan and apply the changes so that's how the port profile and the port manager is done on the new controller version as i mentioned above with the controller version 7.4.156 there was an issue with importing a site backup which is from 7.3.83 version or older which got fixed on the latest controller version 7.4.162 they have mentioned under a release node under the bug fixes you can see there okay also there is one more issues customer getting with the port profile when you migrate a site uh, from 7.3.83 version to controller version 7.4.162 every config migrated successfully only issues are the vlan config which does not migrate as all vlan set to default vlan and when you try to change the port profile under the switch it just give you an error as there was an error applying the changes so the fix for uh, port profile issues which you are getting on 7.4.162 on the switch port you have to go to the switch click on the switch go to the port manager and select all the ports and then you have to uncheck the traffic restriction and turn off the poe on each port and apply the changes after that you have to reboot the switches once switch is back after a reboot you can enable the poe on all ports and now you can apply the vlan config under each port with the correct profile and you will see there won't be any error so that's it for the today's video thanks for watching the video please like and subscribe my channel and comment down if you have any